Hey, what is going on guys? We have the 18th Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. Today we're up against Jay, and look at Jay's team, it's too damn scary. He has four potential Megas, Blaziken, Aerodactyl, Metagross, and Gengar. I know for a fact that Jay's gonna lead off with Galvanjo to set up those sticky webs. I don't have anything in my party that knows fake out, so unfortunately I don't really have anything that can kind of stop the Galvantula. So I just thought I'm going to lead out with Boogers, my hip out on, because it does have that sandstorm, so it automatically does break the stash next turn, obviously, but I could set up curses anyways. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I know for a fact he's going to go for a sticky web, so I do have at least two turns to go for a sticky web. I'm going to go for curses. So he does go for the sticky webs, and I just, you know, went ahead and go for the curse. Now Galvantula also has access to energy ball, but Boogers will take that really nicely because Boogers is especially offensive, so... Finally, the Sandstorm does hit the Galvanjo, so he's no longer protected by Focus Sash. He's gonna do a hard switch, obviously, because he doesn't have, he can't use Bolt Switch. So I'm pretty sure he doesn't even have Energy Ball. Now he's gonna go into Aerodactyl. Now he could go for the Mega Evolution and you know do some crazy damage, but this is my second curse, so I'm already at you know pretty decent defenses here and pretty decent attack. I could go ahead and just go for the Stone Edge, but I decide just go for another curse. But before I do that. This Aerodactyl is going to go for another Stealth Rock, so off the bat, my opponent is going to land his Sticky Webs and his Stealth Rock, so he's not playing any games here, which is all, which is all good. Now he's going to go for the Earthquake, so it turns out he's not going to be Mega. It's not going to do enough, honestly. I'm going to go for like my fourth Curse now, and things are looking pretty scary here. My opponent needs to basically send out um, Gengar, because none of his physical attackers is going to do shit to me. His Blaziken is not going to do shit to me, and his Metagross is not going to do shit to me. Obviously, he really should not send out his Blaziken or his Metagross because, you know, they are weak to ground. But he goes into Dragage, and that's fine and all. Dragage is weak to um, ground, but I can see why he would send out to Dragage. Sometimes Dragage does have the Choice Specs. They do run Choice Specs. Choice Specs Hydro Comp might hurt a little bit, but, you know, I am especially defensive, so... I think that was, like, my fifth or fourth curse now. So he does go for the Scald and um, turns out he gets that lucky burn in one try so that kinda does um, hurt me a little bit but even if I am burned this Earthquake will nicely take out this uh, Dragouge. By the way, Shiny Dragouge is pretty freaking sweet. I think I'll get myself a Dragouge too. So I am burned, kinda does suck but keep in mind I do have that slack off. And uh, now he decides to send out the Metagross. Really risky for him, since, you know, Earthquake is going to demolish this Metagross. He's going to go for the uh, meta, uh, Meteor Mash, but no, it's not going to do enough. I went ahead and just go for the Slack Off, you know, just to kind of scout what he's going to do. And not to mention, I just want to grab my HP. I'm a bulky sweeper. I want to be at, like, full HP, you know, as much as possible. This burn is a little bit annoying. You know, it kind of does annoy me a little bit. So I decided to just go for the curse again. I want to get, I want to be at max, you know, attack now, so that, you know, at least this curse won't bug me too much. I grab a little bit more leftovers. Leftovers is very um, important. It's like a necessity for this kind of spread. This uh, bulky sweeping hip down. Basically, if you guys haven't seen my hip down, my hip down has um, curse, slack off, earthquake, and um, I'll reveal the fourth move to you later. So I do go for the Earthquake, and of course, it finished off this uh, Metagross. And I think I'm at plus 5 right now. Yeah, I think I'm at plus 5, but yeah. Even burned, it's <laughs> enough to obviously finish off this Metagross. This burn damage, man, it's kind of annoying, but at least I'm pretty set with curses. He's gonna go for the Blaziken, and usually, um, you know, with my experiences playing with Blaziken, they usually just go for Protect after, you know, Mega Evolution. To get that speed boost, which is really unnecessary because I'm at like minus five speed, I really don't know why he needs to go for another protect. But uh, I, you know, I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna go for a slack off. If he wants to attack me, that's fine too. If he wants to go for protect, that's even better. I'm just gonna have a free turn of going to heal myself. So he does get that speed boost. Um, really, it's unnecessary, but whatever. He's gonna go for the sky upper cut now, and um, yeah, it's not gonna do enough. And I just go for the earthquake. And uh, finish off this blaze again. I think I'm at plus six. Sorry, I think I'm at plus six. So, yeah, pretty sweet looking here. Um, 
for some reason though, my opponent decides to go into his Gengar pretty late. You know, I was kind of fearing the Gengar. That's probably my biggest fear. Gengar obviously does has you know have access to Energy Ball, but turns out he has Hex, which is actually even better than Energy Ball. Since I am Burn, I do you know take it not too well, and um, Hex you know obviously gets that boost attack from you know status alignment. So I went for the Slack off anyways, just to see what this Gengar will do. We know for a fact it's not a Mega Gengar, so that's fine. He's gonna keep using Hex and. Um, it's actually going to do a little bit more than half, so I can't use can't can't you know keep using slack off. So I have to go for the stone edge, and luckily I did hit. Um, if I had missed, um, basically my hip out on sweep would have been over at this point. But luckily I, I hit. Maybe I'll use rock slide. Now that I think about it, stone edge is just a little bit too risky. So out comes the aerodactyl. I'm sitting at dangerously low HP thanks to that stupid Gengar. I'm just kidding, Gengar's pretty sweet, but yeah, I'm sitting at really low HP, and my opponent does go for the Earthquake. I'm really scared that it'll kill, but of course, it doesn't quite kill. It only does like 9 damage. <laughs> That's the power of curses. That's the power of max uh, defenses, I suppose. <laughs> and um, at this point, um, yeah, things aren't looking too bad here. I just recovered back from, you know, almost dying. I'm really surprised, though, that my opponent has um, stayed in. I think what this Aerodactyl really needs is a taunt. See, if the Aerodactyl had come in, you know, much earlier and he just taunted me, um, you know, <laughs> Boogers would not be able to set up max curses. But you know, this is just a offensive Aerodactyl. I should showcase my uh, stall breaking Aerodactyl. It's actually pretty freaking sweet. So I do go for a Stone Edge, and um, luckily it does land it and finish off this. Aerodactyl, shiny pink Aerodactyl, and I believe my opponent has one final Pokemon left, the Galvantula, which honestly I thought was just gonna be, you know, I, I didn't even expect a pound on to sweep <laughs> at this point. I just wanted to, uh, you know, send him out to break this Galvantula slash, and maybe set up a few curses, but turns out this Hippowdon is quite useful. I mean, it always has been, I mean, ever since X and Y. Boogers has always <laughs> been so reliable, so thank you, Jay. That was an amazing battle and um, really awesome to give me the opportunity to use Boogers once again. If you guys like this battle, please leave that like, like it for Hip Howdown, and make sure to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.